You're watching Plant Identification Through Personal Investigation with Angeline Whitmire. This plant portrait is for large world pagonia, Isotria verticillata. World pagonia, also known as large world pagonia to differentiate it from small world pagonia, is a rare native plant found in the eastern region of North America. It prefers pine oak woods. World pagonia emerges from leaf litter in mid-spring. Its stem is a deep purple-red color and the leaves are tightly curled around each other. As days go by, the stem grows taller and the leaves open up just a little bit. While the leaves are still furled together, you may notice some deep burgundy tissue extending beyond the leaves. Watch carefully over the next several days and you will see this plant tissue grow longer and longer. These are the three sepals which surround the developing flower. When ready, the large world pagonia flower emerges from between the three long, narrow sepals. Frequently, the leaves are still folded around each other or are only partially expanded and point upward. Let's admire this beautiful and intricate flowering orchid. A blooming plant stands about 10 to 12 inches tall. The flower is actually rather small, even with its impressive sepals. Can you pick out the blooming world pagonia plants within these images? The plant's color, including the flower's color, blends well with the surrounding leaf litter and vegetation. Now let's look closely at the flower and its parts. Two of the orchid's greenish yellow petals are described as lateral petals, which cover most of the third petal. The third petal is the lip of the flower. The extended central portion of the lip is a frilly white, while the more enclosed part of the central lobe is a fleshy lime green. The sides of this petal lip extend upwards with a burgundy striped pattern. This third petal forms a channel leading to the back of the flower. This flower has lost most of its petals, so we can see the pink mass at the back of the flower. When we look below and behind the flower, we can see the peduncle, the flower stalk, rising from the center of the leaves. The prominently ridged part of this thick green stalk is actually the flower's ovary, which is inferior to the flower. Inferior ovary means it's below the flower blossom. After blooming, the leaves expand outwards and downwards. Some world pagonia plants do not bloom. In those instances, the plant only has a stem with a set of leaves at the top. It's late spring and individual leaves can be more easily studied. The leaves are definitely whorled since they all arise from the same place at the top of the fleshy stem. Typically, there are five wide leaves in the whorled arrangement, although it's possible to find a large whorled pagonia with six leaves. Mature leaves have an oblanceolate shape with a bluntly pointed tip. Margins are entire, that is, smooth. Look at the fine parallel veins visible on the underside of the leaf. Or take advantage of the sun shining through the leaves to see the veins. The supporting stem is fleshy, purplish, and flexible. In summer, the leaves reach their mature size and shape. They no longer look so perfect as they become torn and marked with holes. From late spring through summer, the fertilized flower grows its seeds. The flower's sepals and petals have fallen from the plant 
and the inferior ovary, now the seed capsule, looks like a thicker green portion at the top of the plant. Here are some world pagonia plants with their seed capsule in midsummer. When the fall season arrives, the ragged whorled pagonia leaves turn yellow and then brown. The seed capsules also turn brown and dry. If you know where the plant bloomed in the spring, you can search out the dried plant in late fall. Look for the single dried stem with its one set of dried whorled leaves, topped off with a dried seed capsule. You may even find the dried plant with its seed capsule sticking up through the snow during winter. By this time, viable seeds will have been blown out through the cracks in the dried capsule. Next spring, new plants emerge from short rhizomes. Finding the spring plants is easiest if you already know where some of them grew the previous year. How many world pagonia plants can you find in this image? How about in this photo? Oh, here's a baby plant. Sometimes you can find baby plants near other full-grown plants. These babies take more years to mature to the point where they can flower. Let's end with a few more photos of the plant in full bloom. This is Angeline. Thank you for watching and learning about Isotria verticillata, also known as Large Whorled Pagonia. Visit IdentifyThatPlant.com for more images of Large Whorled Pagonia, for a blog post comparing Large Whorled Pagonia with Indian Cucumber Root, for plant identification resources, and for information about how you can confidently master the skill of correct plant identification.